Sunrise Serials. I'm your host, Richard Pochard, and today we continue our search for the villain in the spider's web. Now, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that the spider was one of several pulp characters that influenced the creation of some of our current day superheroes. Well, let's take a look at that. Stan Lee cited the spider as one of his influences in creating Spider-Man. His ability to climb and his penchant for swinging off the tops of buildings are certainly represented. In the pulps, the spider was known to refer to the special rope he used for swinging as his web line. Although Spider-Man is not the cold-blooded killer that the spider was, like the spider, he is wanted by the police as a murder suspect. As a criminologist, Richard Wentworth has a basic understanding of science, and Peter Parker, as we all know, is a science major. And of course, the web motif in the serial costume is well represented by Spider-Man's own costume. And one of the earliest villains Spidey faced, issue number three to be exact, was the nefarious Dr. Octopus. There's also a pretty fair argument that the spider might have at least indirectly influenced another popular superhero. Now let's see. Rich guy, good at criminology, last surviving member of his family, cared for by a butler, dresses as a vigilante to protect the innocent, uh, I don't know, sound familiar to anyone? Okay, let's get back to the action as we enjoy Chapter 14, The Double Cross. <laughs> is a man known as the Octopus, one of the most vicious criminals of all time. In an effort to stamp out the rising wave of crime, Police Commissioner Keck has enlisted the aid of Richard Wentworth, famous criminal. If it's good enough for Tarzan, Tarzan it's Richard good Wentworth enough for me. Richard leaps into the bitterly fought battle. His guns trained mercilessly on the forces of the Octopus.
Carter. We ran into the spider and he upset our plans. Spider? Boss ain't gonna like that. Come on inside. Turn that car around. I might have to get out of here in a hurry. First the spider busts up the tremor party. Then when we go after the newspaper, he knocks us over. Between the spider and Wentworth, the octopus is fighting tough hard. Wentworth won't bother us. We got his man Jackson with a shot of that firecracker poison. The boss is holding him prisoner someplace. Why, that guy's been unconscious for hours. Report the waterworks on 16th Street to get the layout. The waterworks? Yeah. Octopus has given orders to blow up the works and cut off the water supply. Hmm. Maybe I'd better report to the octopus and get my orders.
I'm all right. Fire up that man. Jenkins. Jenkins, how did they get in here? Uh, what happened? That's what I'm trying to find out. Place from Jackson. That doesn't sound like Jackson. He'd never ask me to stop fighting crime for his sake. Wait a minute. Hmm. That's not Jackson's regular style. It's written with his left hand. He's warning me to stay away. It's a trap with Jackson as the bait. Well, we know he's alive, though we don't know for how long. I'll get an antidote ready. He may be in a coma when we find him. Put a drop of that snake poison on a slide, will you? Don't! Don't touch that. Why not? There's high explosive in those tubes. Uh, we put them there. <laughs> Lamb, phone Kirk and tell him to pick up these men. I'll be down in his office soon. Sure, Jenkins. If I'm right, <coughs> if I'm right, this will do the trick. I've got it. Now I remember that white paper. I saw it used in Rangoon. The poison of the Rungle's Cobra. Snake poison, but how? Well, this particular Cobra doesn't bite its victims. It sprays its poison in a paper. But nothing sprayed this poison, sir. Ah, you're wrong there. The explosion of the firecracker released the gas from a glass vial and sprayed it in areas as far as 12 feet. Hope I can get to Jackson in time to administer this antidote. Commissioner says he'll take care of these men immediately, Sahib. Good. If Nita phones, tell her I'll contact her soon. I'll be at Kirk's office. Commissioner Kirk's office calling. Mr. Wentworth asked me to call and ask you if you can come down to headquarters immediately. We'll have a taxi call for you. Certainly, I'll be ready in a minute. Thank you. Hello? Oh, hello, Mom Sahib. Mr. Wentworth just phoned Ram Singh. I'm to meet him at Commissioner Kirk's office. Are there any messages for him? No, no other messages. Goodbye, Mom Sahib. Goodbye. Miss Van Sloan? Yes. Did Mr. Wentworth send you here? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Let's go. Hey, how many hoods does it take to drive a cab? We here so early this morning. Well, we all received quite a scare from that bus terminal business. Undoubtedly the octopus again. I understand that the spider did a good job in helping to prevent the massacre of the policemen. Hmm. Newspapers make a hero of him. I'm inclined to agree with the newspapers. As far as the police are concerned, he's still an outlaw. Have you had any word about Jackson? Yes. Uh, where is Jackson? And uh, what about that note from him? Oh, yes. I was just going to tell you about that. I don't know how Jackson got this to me, but I'm going to follow through on it at once. I'm sure with the fine work the police have done, it won't be hard to find Jackson. I have a conference in a half hour, gentlemen. I must be at my desk. You're making progress. Keep up the good work. Commissioner, if I can be of any further help, why, please let me know. Cook, I didn't want to scare those men, but I found out there's going to be an attempt to blow up the city's waterworks tonight. The waterworks? Yes. And that note from Jackson is a trap. But you said you were going to follow through on it. I am. It's the only lead I have. What you can't do it alone. Let me send my men. No, it may be an attempt to draw us away from the waterworks. You've got to detail men to cover those areas. And besides, a raid on the place where they're holding Jackson would be too obvious. In working alone, Kirk, I have one advantage. The octopus doesn't know I'm aware of his trap. 
I shall step into it deliberately, but prepared. I'll send a squad of men to each water plant immediately. Good. I'll see you later. Wentworth is going to try to arrest you, Jackson, led on by my note. One of you will be disguised as Jackson. And when Wentworth arrives, we will be ready for him. This time, Richard Wentworth does not escape. Jackson, hello, sir. Need a call? Yes, Sahib. She said she was going to meet you at headquarters, that you had called her. At headquarters? I didn't call. There's no answer. Why? What was the question? They've got Jackson and Anita now. The spider must strike. Even though he steps into the trap of the octopus. As the prophet saith, it taketh more than honey to catch the bee. Wait here until I call. Ram, come with me. We can make the old gladstone house by dusk. Now listen, everybody. Wentworth will be here any minute. And you, remember, you're supposed to be Jackson stretched out on that couch. Hurry, Ram Singh, step on it. You men stay in guard outside the house to make it look better when Wentworth gets here. And don't try to shoot it out with him, because he's too fast on the drawer. Let him get into the house. The minute he gets over to that couch, we'll have him. Cut your motor and coast in. himself trapped by the paid killers of the octopus. The spider defies death by running up a 60-foot ladder with the police after him. The spider and the octopus face to face. Who is the victor? Who is the octopus? Another indirect influence the spider may have had on modern superheroes comes from the names of two of the villainous masterminds he faced off against in the pulp stories. The Batman and the Iron Man. And tomorrow, all of our questions will be answered. Meanwhile, let me know how I'm doing in the comments, and as always, hit that subscribe if you haven't done so. Is Jackson becoming ambidextrous? Will Nita have to pay the fare for extra passengers? Will Kirk's men flood the waterworks? Is the spider becoming a swinger? Be here tomorrow for the non-stop finale of The Spider's Web, Chapter 15, The Octopus Unmasked. Hope to see you then. Hey everybody, it's Richard again, and if this is the first time you're viewing my series you've already missed a lot so why not subscribe and that way you'll never miss another exciting cliff hanging moment subscribe today